Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. We have a little bit of talking to do and we will do that soonish. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband... He's locked up and slated for exile, for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have... There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the Jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him. And yes, we will do this sub... Let's put that in between, right? I know, I, I'm silly sometimes, but we are going to do that now. Lieutenant Apex Cetras, based on the Cetras report 16C, it seems we are not closer, closer to gaining a foothold on any sector. Without decent recon and greater intel on this enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risk involves and continued loss of resources and lives make it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectation. Again, Cantrus. Yeah, okay, too bad. Uh, we will talk. Oh, wait a second. All right. Ah, and here we can sell our stuff. Cool. Okay, that's definitely at one time need an upgrade with weapons. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. You got it. Shop till you drop, here I come. That's fine. Hey, wait. Please don't drop anything you bought from me, okay? Tam would have my head if anything happened to you on my account. Okay, good. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkin, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs. Overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and... I, I guess I panicked and fired. Witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Let's talk with him. Then we can maybe even do the other talk with him we need to do anyways. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results. Though they'll try. 
Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Let's start with the other questions. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket? We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Uh, yeah, but we need to... No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. Hmm... It doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was... Trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Okay, optional playback recording. Let's start with that. And then we speak with the witness, Shaw. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... <laughs> Off me! Get him off me! Okay, optional part done. Now let's see the witness. I am not certain where the witness is. That was obviously wrong. The witness is hopefully. Yeah, okay. Just up the stairs. That's good. Isn't what 
Cassidy Shaw? I'm Scott Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been killed. The reality of the act sinking in? Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tian wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Speak with Tan, we will do. And he's just luckily right around the corner. So, to say, oh, we are not gonna retrieve the body, do we? I mean, it's already too long, probably ago, right? Something I can help you with? I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I wanna go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. I'm hoping it proves something else happened. This case has been a political nightmare. With all we've been through, the people need stability. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm here to serve. Good. Investigate the murder. I think we are gonna sort things out though. Two things I wanna... One thing, um, first of all, we're gonna need to sort out... Ah oh boy, I need to actually think about them upgrades too. What can we do in tech? Okay, overload, I cryo beam, beam into... Fires a plasma projectile that does bonus damage to armor. Okay, flamethrower. Okay, unknown offensive tech. Maximize the offensive capabilities of tech powers. Mm-hmm, bio, biotics. Oh, no, but these are nasty. They were nasty in Mass Effect 2 and 3. Concussive shot, that was good. Fights the target seeking high impact round that knocks down unarmored, unshielded, normalized enemies and detonates a combo primer. Yeah, okay, maybe the armor thing is what I... Okay, I'm not yet a sword referred to that. Because assault rifles, I uh, that's cool too. Can we undo? Ah, okay. You know what we are gonna? I'm gonna do it simpler for now. Let's do that. Increase maximum shield rating, and we are not gonna invest all of them points. Yes, and a few we will. Distribute, dis distribute later on. That is the plan. That's a plan. And this is shotgun damage, max shield, defensive training, charge, and Liam. Okay. 
them for later but guys that brings us right now to the end of today's episode what i wanted to say we are going to clear out we do the talking in the next episode and then go back to the planet for now you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i see you in the next episode until then i wish you all a wonderful day stay frosty bye